Hey guys, I'm Marisa and today we are playing some Fallout New Vegas. Currently playing the Lights Mode DLC. Let's get back into it. I didn't even notice that nuke up there. See what it does. Probably shouldn't walk around with that laser detonator, I guess. God damn landmines. I think I mentioned it before. I think I lose more health from landmines than anything else in this game. The problem is they kind of get stuck in the terrain and you can't even see them sometimes. Well, that's my excuse for eating them with my face all the time. He scared the crap out of me.
I'm trying to do my best to look out for landmines. I'm guessing we must be getting pretty close to finishing this DLC because it's been a lot longer than than what I thought it would be to be honest. Kind of surprised me a bit. I thought it would be like an hour or two each DLC but nope. Oh, we've got dead bodies in here. Our signs to a hundred. I think we might just bump up our main skills, I think, again, against the training. I'm trying to get my agility up because I use vats a lot, so might as well. Some enemy robots in here. Alert. Non combatants are advised to leave the area. Security sweep in progress. Lethal. Force may be used without warning. Probably means we should get some. A gun with a good AP rounds, I guess. No hostiles detected. Continuing progress. Threat analysis. Green. Standing down. It wasn't too hot. Thought that robot had come through the door for a second.
getting dangerously low on inventory space again. start using some of the uh, grenades I've got I mean the the basically four robots so not over cumbered are we just one Oh shit, we made him mad. Not sure why the turrets were helping me out there. Oh, it's it. I, looks like he's in there charging or something. I hope he's going to be friendly. Must have been an override function piggybacked on the broadcast. That's what pulled you here. Are you okay?
Of course I came after you. I wasn't going to leave you behind. Whatever he's planning, Uzas obviously wants you there. Come on, I hate to disappoint him. Okay, we got Ed back. Oh nice, we can sell some stuff. I kind of want to keep this rocket launcher since we've got so many freaking rockets in it. Even though our build's not really for that. So good to clean out your inventory. Feels good. a bunch of ammo to get our money's worth hopefully he's got enough ammo to let's see our caps back this is a good way to store your money if they don't have enough caps to for what you're trying to sell them because ammunition doesn't weigh anything carry the ammunition on you. It's like having a currency anyway, right? There we go. Gain the barter town. I kinda wanna see what that perk is. Barter town. Your business prowess gives you discounts whenever you shop with each rank of this perk. Nice. Throw fully healed. Once you have seen this elevator, you cannot return until you end this. 
Do you have anything else you want to do before going ahead to take care of it? And hmm. Well, this looks like a boss fighting room. Holy crap. It's everywhere. I just want to get them out of the way so then screwing me over. I'm right there. There is a pretty good chance I'm supposed to be using these while I do the boss fight, but I'd rather just get them out of the way. Is he launching the nuke already? to save just in case something goes wrong. Can I jump over this thing? No. Or if we're supposed to be going down this side or not. Oh, those are good XP for just disarming something. If we can do anything here. Control activate iBot control console. Wonder if that's something we're gonna have to do during the boss fight.
But I'm so nervous about mines still. I'm still looking for... Oh, there. That's why I'm nervous about mines. It's so many mines in this DLC. I had a feeling we're going to have to come down here and use those at some point. NCR's shadow falls. Or is it just you, courier, without the bear's corpse to weigh you down? Judging by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the Divide Giants are awakening. The missiles here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. I still don't understand why you're doing this. You've answered your own question. And you'll die with that question on your lips. You don't see, listen, even when it's all around you. No matter if I nailed it into your head like a gift from Kaisar. You brought the divide to life, courier. You walked the road, brought the bear, then the bull brought me, following your tracks. And when I saw the divide you made, I saw a second chance, a new way of thinking. My world, no longer the East. And you brought the West in that package, destroyed it all, nearly killed me, flesh and spirit. You've destroyed something larger than the bear, greater than the bull. And even when you could have turned away, you brought it again in that machine. You destroyed a nation taking its first breath. A place that could have been my home. Now, I'll destroy yours. He draw us in here? Why did he bring us here? So weird. You meant to kill me, you should have done it long ago. Not if you believe in what you follow. Kill no courier. Kaiser's words. I honored them. Other couriers could have been legion, like me. The truth is, you serve nothing, believe nothing, killing you meaningless. What happened to the divide? What I did? An accident. What you're doing is madness. I guess he's pissed that wing. His new home, right? <laughs> no. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The divide. The chip. The machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. If you blame me for the divide, then let me answer for it, not others. <laughs> blame you? No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. 
The what, you intend to bomb the Mojave? No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. And knowing that you believe in a bear sickness and have given it strength, and that gives more reason to lay waste to your homeland. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. You can't destroy the West either. Uh, you've wasted enough of my time. Get ready to die. That's what I'm going with. I'll finish history's work. If the Divide couldn't kill you, perhaps these spears of the old world can. Let's end this courier. You and I. Here, with the old world flag as witness. There. iBot has successfully shut down. Reconfigure the iBot's targeting. I wonder if I can go to the other side as well. Eye bots are fighting each other. Hopefully, our eye bot doesn't get smoked. I think both of them are fighting for us now, I think. Not that strong. Missile launcher. Holy shit. 
shit, these are with a lot. My god, Reg, is it fifty percent? And it's a mask too, that's amazing. And we got like an army of robots. And that was a lot of stealth boys, they worth a lot. I don't know if I want to click on this, is it going to launch the frickin' nuke? The mission's the same, we have to. This terminal is already engaged in its countdown sequence. And the abort codes have been overridden. You might be able to change the missile's target or accelerate the countdown and launch the missiles immediately. Once I alone, attempt to cancel the launch, redirect the missiles to target both the NCR and direct missiles to target territory. Back the NCR. Hmm. Well, I think if we're going to target anyone, it would just be the Caesar. Caesar's territory. The bad guys. Good attempt to cancel it. No, I think we'll just attack Caesar, I think. Yeah, screw it. They, they're the bad guys. They deserve it. This will launch these missiles against the targets in the lands of the East. Colorado, controlled by Caesar. Raining nuclear fire down on its cities and tribes. Are you sure you want to continue? Hmm. I guess it's too late to change our mind now. It's an enhanced sensor pack. The divide erupted in fire as the flame trail of the two couriers' last message arced into the sky. Missiles fell on the east, and the Legion encampment at Drywells 
where the Twisted Hears had allied and been betrayed by Wolpus. Legion soldiers died, their silhouettes blasted into the ground and earth. The last word of the last of the Twisted Hears. It was an ending to things. A way of erasing the road that had led to this point and the history that had walked with it. At the end of the struggle, only one courier remained in the heart of the Divide. The true courier. Courier Six. The courier tore the ancient flag of the Commonwealth from its cables and cast it over the corpse. Though whether done as a sign of respect or in anger for what had been endured to reach this moment, that is unknown. Interpretation is something best left to history, and only the surviving courier would ever know for certain. Kind of funny how they got the robot talking at the end, like we're supposed to know what he's saying. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the Divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message it is something for couriers to carry, and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Mm. Men do, through the roads they walk, and this road has reached its end. Well, well I feel a little bit bad about nuking Caesar's Legion. Your merciless nuclear assault on Caesar's Legion devastated the lands east of the Colorado and reached down the borders of the Mojave. At Cottonwood Cove, you can now take the journey by river. The site of the Dry Wells, a devastated Legion encampment. Be prepared, the area is highly irradiated infested with legion ghouls well that sounds fun you have also unlocked the scourge of the perk allowing you to put a single point into any of the your special attributes you also gain reputation with the ncr for, for breaking the back of the Jesus legion but you lose reputation with Well, I might put a point in print, I think. Get out and hurry up a little bit. Oh, and we leveled up. Well, let's finish off our guns.
And put her in the batter, I think. That could be good for us. That's the weapon type. Well, I think for now we'll just put another point in to our special skills, I think. Went up again. Got carry weight now, 270. I thought we already picked these up. Did get another one. Let's listen to his final message. Interesting. Uh, 
Well, we need to go pick our companions back up again, I think. First thing we can do. Yeah, we, we don't have the other Ed with us, he's gone. Should be able to pick our companion back up here somewhere. Robot. And there he is. Is he still got? Yes, he still has all his stuff. Right. Want to give him this will want you at You don't have to carry it. And we need to go pick a boon up. I think he a Novak. And remember where that is. Pick his ass up. Ah, oh, it's so good to have our companions back carry all the heavy stuff for us. I hated not having my companions carry my stuff. Is it time? I'm ready when you are. Nice. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Sure thing. Have a look. Got too much. Yeah, I don't think we really need these. We can see in the dark, we're at. Right. I like our three or eight rounds, so those first.
Gotta hope he's got enough ammo. Let's do it. Come back soon. Alright, I think we might go pull our sniper rifle to gun runners. They generally have a lot of money. Welcome, sir or madam. I am ready. Really, only nine hundred. I wonder if I should give that to Boo. Don't think of it because he's a snipe rifle. What do you got for a weapon, buddy? Fine by me. I give you this we doesn't seem he's going to equip it. Fine by me. Fine, I'll just sell it. Welcome, sir or madam. I'd to give him a nice weapon. He's got in the uh, raids for our weapons that we actually And I think what we will do first is go and see our buddy in the checkered suit, the one who shot us at the beginning of the game. Nice one, Boone. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night's a girl. Alright, let's go get this son of a bitch who shot us out of the game. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. 
If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Have a good time, baby. Looks like the troops are back. Good thing, too. This place was dead to go without their caps. Here's that son of a bitch over there. Cool by me if you want to talk after all. But a confab like this, out in public, in my place of business, that don't play. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. <clears throat> Two conditions. These are bodyguards and we both go this week. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Keep those hands where I can see them. Big mistake, buddy. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask. How is it that you're still living? It takes more than a couple of bullets and he'd just stop me. Yeah, hello. Well, serves me right for using a 9mm. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Seems he dropped something in Boulder City. Show Benny his lighter. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? I'm wondering why I shouldn't just kill you. You've got a crazy drop on me here, baby. That's for sure. If killing's what you came for, this would be the time. But baby, you'd be disappointing me. All the trouble you went through to arrange this shindig must be something more you're after. What are you offering? You help me and before long the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? I can't trust you, no thanks. I know, you figured me for a creep. It's your prerogative. If you change your mind, come find me on the casino floor. In the meantime, the presidential is yours whenever you want it. Adios. I'd say that was pretty good payback.
Well, we got our revenge. But about the Benny's room. Hey. It's not Benny's room. How's it hanging? I'm hard following these markers sometimes. What the hell? Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you! What can I do for you today? is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man? What kind of name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Have you seen this platinum chip before? Sure! Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network the Lucky 38, and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! What was Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. <laughs> You're very forthcoming with information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? They wanted to take over New Vegas myself. What then? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to. But hey, not my fault I can't say no.
What are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Say Mr. House was going to suffer an, an accident, how would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been invited to visit the Lucky 38. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the Platinum Chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What do you know about the courier Benny shot? I knew he was carrying a Platinum Chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes? and the mercenary teams that screened them. I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. I have the platinum chip, remember? Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Let's talk about something else. Sorry if that was getting boring. So I should ask these tribes if they support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. What tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the Strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. You see, it's something about a bunker at the fort. Right! It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. We'll go check it out. Neat. Let me know what you find out. Don't stay away too long.
that's annoying. None of those doors can be exit. All right, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. And I think next time we'll go and visit the boomers. I remember that that being a pretty cool mission. So I'll see you guys in the next part.